wasting some time here with the tier 8 premium Otago. Uh, just uh, real quick, something to go over before we watch the replay. The Otago has received a significant buff. Uh, so you get the repair party consumable that the battleships get. It is uh, with that and with the uh, nerf of the AP of uh, battleships, the Otago is uh, pretty amazing. Has a lot of staying power now. Uh, I have superintendent on the commanders I use on this, but it doesn't actually show up in port as far as I, I know still. Uh, we actually try that out right now. The Amagi captain on there. And modules. Yeah, it doesn't still doesn't show up, but you actually do get the uh, extra extra charges from the uh, superintendent skill on the skill tree for the captain. Uh, yeah, so the buff on that is huge, and also the Otago has uh, received a increase in its credit earning potential. Uh, so I would say that with the AP, the buff to the Otago, play your Otagos now while you can, and you can make a lot of money. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Come back and see me. Alright, wasting some time here in the Tier 8 Otago on North. Try to see what we can do in this, uh, this really good ship. Uh, recently, it has uh, received a credit earning buff, and also you have the captain skill. I think I went over that a bit in my intro. Two really huge things for the Otago and the uh, AP nerf on battleships. All those things add up to uh, good games for cruisers. And here's a good cruiser to make some money with quick. I can show you all that. It's my uh, pretty standard. Uh, activity going around this island here and hanging between the, the 7 8 line I really do think in the two cap situation even on domination mode this is the best place to be to be able to push and or defend I'm sure some people would disagree but you know hey it's like just your opinion dude excuse me on my lip there anyways waiting for somebody to pop around here our friendly destroyer has uh, thrown torpedoes out trying to area denial kind of thing I'm gonna do the same here trying to uh, get that lucky torpid you never know may just happen I kind of wanted him to come at for uh, two different angles that's why I'm waiting so long so hopefully they uh, turned and dodge one and hit the other, but it doesn't work most of the time. Friendly, uh, enemy Oba, I was about to call him friendly. His name is Aussie Mech, so you never know, he may be a, a friendly guy or a girl. If we can destroy him, make a coral reef. Or conservationist for sea life, trying to make some coral reefs, it's all good. He decided he didn't want any, and he's running away. Get six hits only for uh, that wasn't a very good hit. That was like 1600. That was just kind of miserable. Spotted the enemy carrier there for a second. No, I, actually, I think we're not spotting him. The uh, one of the aircraft carriers is sending his torp bombers at, to that guy. It's not the best thing to do that early when he is uh, so well protected. Enemy Atlanta Thor's is that Thor's? Yeah, Thor's. Come around here, put some shots out, but it looks like he is completely dead still. That's another thing with the uh, patch. A lot of times the ships are missing, 5.1 patch, a lot of times the ships are missing the uh, smokestack. Uh, so you can't really tell what kind of power they're under, which is really annoying. Now he's uh, speeding up and turning away, so I aim a little bit high there, hoping to land some shots. There my camera freaks out and starts switching between the views. Take out his uh, rudder there. Try to get some more shots on him. I'm not uh, too hopeful though. Do a, kind of a wide uh, spammy shot there. Hopefully he turns into something of that, but uh, probably not. He is being torpedoed. Hopefully our friendlies can land those torpedoes, but they're trying to torpedo Atlanta. That's probably not going to happen. Enemy torp bombers to the front. Go ahead and use our ability. 
trying to uh, shoot down those enemy fighters. Try to help my friendly here. Shot one down. Amazing. And our uh, our hear you for whatever reason, and even their uh, their ranger and their other carrier, they're both getting really close. Now they hear you. I, I just, our fighter got shot down. Damn it. Anyways, target their torpedo bombers. Our, uh, I don't know why carriers sometimes get so close in this. Our uh, Lexington, or is it our Ranger? He is actually hiding behind the island at C-10 uh, right now. I don't really agree with that. And there's this guy, 13k away. I don't know why carriers captains do this. Uh, I think it's a bad strategy. But it is a strategy. Tactic, whatever you like. But uh, those are uh, torpedo bombers, and that was an auto drop that <laughs> got uh, the spread uh, effect done on it. Not very impressive. Anyways, and we're trying to take out some fighters to get a fire on Omni Optic. It's an interesting name. Another hit into him, trying to leave him on fire so he can't launch anything. Is my goal. The enemy team has taken the lead. And now there's an enemy turp that's coming in. 24,000 health. There's nothing between uh, him and our cap. And there's also a mayhem launching the torps out. Just trying to keep people away from me. Evil Sponge SpongeBob. <laughs> that's his name. It's a good name. I like it. Hopefully we can uh, blow him up. Lots more tarps. I'm kind of expecting him to uh, yeah, stay in his smoke. He's circled, circled back into his smoke. He's not entirely suicidal. Try to put some work into this. Turpets, 24,000 health, and we should be able to burn that down. I do have the captain skill that uh, increases the chance of fire by 3%. And there we go. He uh, got the enemy air aircraft carrier and got the arsonist award. I am pretty sure there's somebody else that did some damage to that guy, but I am, uh, I'll am i happily take it. Just varying my speed here, trying to throw these shots off. He almost got hit by one of those torpedoes. If only and whatnot. He is repairing his health. That's not great for us. Looks like torps from the Mayhem. We're gonna get our first fire on. Uh, I just gonna get. I just want to call him uh, Mustafa. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is that from the Lion King or something? Mustafa. I'm having a flashback. I don't remember uh, cartoons very well, but. Anyways, taking things out on this guy. I think I may have taken out one of his front turrets. With H E no less, which is kind of silly. Because it is, uh, he's pointing at us, but it looks like one of his turrets is actually hanging off to the side. I think it's broken. And he is firing. And he's only firing like one round from the front. And yeah, so I'm assuming I knocked out a front turret. Anyways, enemy uh, SpongeBob is hiding around that uh, island right there. Set another fire on uh, Mustafa. Watch the world burn. Yeah, it does look like a, his front lower turret is destroyed. That's nice. Take out the torpedo turrets on him. Or torpedo tubes. Torpedo turrets. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Launching torpedoes at, uh, out of a cannon. Dive in here at this guy. Since he has such low health, I am trying to just close it. Finish him off. Hopefully get him with some torpedoes or something. But we should be able to just HE this guy down pretty quick. Just gotta be sure not to point into him too hard. And he is... I think he's realizing, hey, this isn't my fight. Get another fire on him and he's gonna burn down. And he is done for. Now there's the enemy Oba. And if you're in a... 
tier 8 and you can't take out a tier 6, you probably need to go do something else. But we do have uh, Mayhan problems direct front. The SpongeBob is back to back to get us. So we're going to turn here, get our guns to bear. They're already kind of hanging off that side. And say no to the torpedoes, Mayhan. Get two fires on him with uh, two hits. That's just bad luck for him. Torpedoes, our rear torpedo tubers are out, so we can't fire those right now. Might as well just run. Torpedoes to starboard. Keeps on taking out our back tubes there. And enemy, our friendly carrier dropped on this guy, but he, he dodged it. I, honestly, I don't know why our, that carrier was dropping on a mayhem this close to me, because, I mean, I would expect a cruiser to kill this guy. But logics and whatnot, <laughs> and he's down to 548, and I think he's on fire. Yeah, now he's on fire. And he's gonna burn down. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. We're on fire now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out and use a repair, I think. Yeah, use a repair. And probably my biggest mistake. Well, one of my biggest mistakes was turning that way. If I had turned the other way, I would have dodged the torps and uh, hopefully not been citadeled like he had just did to me. Try to get this uh, turn done a bit more. Just launching out torpedoes. Looking to launch torpedoes. Reloading AP so we can land a quick uh, killing blow to this guy. Six hits, one citadel. Go ahead and select our AA. Out of cruisers, the uh, Tago does have uh, long range AA, so that. Uh, not AA, uh, secondaries. And two shots, two citadels. Cannot ask for a better uh, better shot on that. <laughs> One turret, 100% citadel hits. I'll take it. And uh, the bad news we're down to three to four right now. And our Colorado is way down south, completely separated. And, uh, yes, <laughs> engaging uh, four enemies at once. So I don't imagine he will be long for this world. Or this game. Right now my main priority is to protect the uh, carrier. And the cap. And the only problem is where the carrier is, I can't really do both. And the uh, carrier, if he doesn't, uh, if he's not careful, he can bring those guys right back to him. Ideally, he should, uh, after he does his attack runs, he should fly his bombers directly back over me so they come towards me. We can always hope. Hope is alive. Anyways, enemy York is pretty beat up. We can engage him, that will be pretty pretty good. Enemy Hatshuru is mostly full health. He's being die by was he just die bombed or, was, or no they're just flying over right now right now. Alright. Fifteen K on Hatshuru, it's probably not gonna happen. Pair's about to be up. Go ahead and use that so we can yeah, so we can get back in the game here. Only one repair left. And it would have been too fortunate if those torpedoes had hit. Enemy Otago is almost full health. Full health. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me, that was like a weird reverse hiccup. I'm sorry. That kind of hurt. York's coming around. If we can kill him, that'd be amazing. And worried about what the uh, carrier just did. He just flew his planes directly back to himself. So that destroyer is going to head straight for him. So now we have to kill the destroyer. Enemy York is shooting at me. Going to turn into these shots. Hopefully dodge him. That wasn't even close. Oh, that was a bit closer. Too long though. Enemy Otago is flying. Or flying Alex? Alright. 
TV asked me to get the DD and he'll get the others. Fair enough exchange. There's Hatshuru. Oh, he's close. And I just fired. To port. He launched torps at me, but those are easily missed. Hit the Otago. Now we need to have to kill this Hatshuru. So, not too much to be done. Trying to get our guns to bear on this guy. Not in the best position. Our guns are having to turn all the way back over. He lands a good shot. Fire what you have in the barrels, and I was getting ready for that uh, destroyer, so it's HE uh, it is. Battle ends in five minutes. Five minutes to the end of battle. Well, crap. Alright, launch my uh, fighter for kicks, and hopefully we can spot some torpedoes early. That Shuru is making a beeline to our carrier. Bizbeth. Knock out some torpedo tubes on the Otago. That'll, that could help for later. I thought he was about to ground himself, but it does not look like he actually is. That's a miss, misfire for me. Our last health repair. It's going to get us about 25, uh, almost 26,000 health. And the Hatshuru apparently doesn't want to get blown up by me because he decides to turn around and run away. Or trying to, I don't know what exactly he's doing. I think he's just trying to throw off the torpedo drop of our carrier. I already launched those torpedoes. What am I thinking? I was hoping he would come around the corner here. And he decides not to. Go ahead and shoot anyways. Swing and a miss. And we are, uh, they're capturing our base right now. So honestly, at this point, I should... I don't, but I should have abandoned this guy and went back to cap. But our carrier is still sitting there, being immobile and hard to protect. It's no good. It's a bad idea. That Shuru is uh, trying to hide from me, I think, but he's not doing a great job of it. And he turns back the wrong way, and hello. I have some AP. No, HE. <laughs> Have some rounds, that's that's all. Torpedoes, he launches start. on us. We should be able to dodge these as long as we maintain our turn. And fire should be dead. Oh, only get two hits, and he's still alive. No. And secondary for the win. No, no, there we go. One shot and he's dead. Try to turn over here. Does get some good good hits on me. He gets the Citadel there, I'm pretty sure. We have HE loaded, so that's what we use. So I'm going to miss there. Not my best shots. And they have almost captured our base. So they're all bad things. It's the York. Should have uh, abandoned my carrier, apparently. And actually tried to win. Sometimes such things don't happen. Confederate and high caliber in the first uh, in the same salvo doesn't happen too often. And this is embarrassing. Loading AP. It wouldn't be a replay for me if I didn't ground myself. Going on shore leave. Get a nice citadel hit on that guy, but he is ripping me up pretty quick. It's not good. And he's repairing his health too. All these are fortunate things. Pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna get destroyed here. Take out his engine. Go ahead and uh, just make to where I can shoot my guns. Just get the shots off you can. Trying to get Citadel hits. There's another Citadel hit. Take his engine out again. Another Citadel hit and he kills me. Uh, I could have been a contender. Anyways, and our carrier slowly backing away. Disappointed in you, uh, Ken. Disappointed. You should have stayed mobile. 
should have got behind the cap. Let me defend you there in the cap. But things happen. But here's the bright side: 88, 888,000 credits earned. Not going to complain about that. Actually, got more uh, XP than uh, anybody on the winning and or losing team. It's kind of a disappointing thing to happen, but it does happen sometimes. It's actually the first time I've ever done that. Their uh, team just in general outplayed my team. HE 63,000, fire set 41,000, and AP shells 44,000 damage. It's uh, still a good game, just disappointing loss. Hope you all uh, enjoyed watching me fail miserably. Come back and see me.